L1A uh, uh, multinational manager executive visa. So this is a temporary visa, uh, temporary work visa. There's no limit on the numbers of L1A visas available, but this is for those um, high level executives or owners of companies um, multinational companies. And when I mean multinational, I don't necessarily mean like the huge multinational companies that we know of. It can be that you have an, a business that you are operating outside the U.S. Um, and you will continue to operate that business, but you want to start a subsidiary or a branch or another business, affiliated business in the United States. And so if you start, if you want to start up that business in the U.S., um, you would basically show a couple of things. First, you need to show that the foreign company that you have and the U.S. company have the qualifying relationship. So, for example, you you as the individual owner own 100 percent of the foreign company and you're also going to own 100 percent of the U.S. company. Now, that's an, an example. There could be other uh, qualifying relationships, but that's one of the easiest ways to qualify is to show that you own 100 percent of both companies. You must also show that you have been employed with your foreign uh, business for at least one year within the past three years before you apply for the L-1 visa. So that requires you providing a lot of um, uh, payroll or tax information or other uh, evidence to prove that you have been working with that business for at least one year. And then, of course, you also must continue to operate. If you do receive the L-1 visa, you can't just close up your farm business. You have to keep that operational while you are also operating the U.S. business. So that makes it truly multinational. You have to continue running both those businesses during the entire time that you have an L-1 visa. If you close up the farm business, uh, then your L-1 visa becomes invalid. So it's very important to keep that going. And then we also have the potential for now uh, once you have operations for at least one year in the United States, you have the potential for getting, uh, for for applying for and potentially receiving the EB1C green card. Um, that is through what's called the multinational executive or manager, the EB1C. So the EB1C is very similar to the L1 in terms of criteria. It basically requires that there's again a foreign company and a US company with the qual 